In the unlikely event that both ECAM displays fail, the ECAM ND transfer selector can be used to transfer the engine warning display to either ND. We will turn the ECAM ND transfer selector for you. As you can see, the first officer now has the engine warning display on his ND screen. If you need to look at a system page, this can be done by pressing and holding the related system page key on the ECP for a limited time. As soon as the system key is released, the engine warning display returns and the light on the ECP is extinguished. When you are limited to a single ECAM screen, the handling of system malfunctions and how you are advised of failures is slightly different. For clarity, we will concentrate on the ECAM screen. If an advisory condition arises, the relevant system page is not automatically displayed. Instead, the light on the key for the system and a boxed advisory message on the engine warning display will flash. If an ECAM warning or caution is triggered, then there will be no automatic display of the relevant system page. System pages should be called by manual selection on the ECP. To see this more clearly, let's look at a failure. We will only discuss the one ECAM screen and the selections on the ECP. When a failure is detected, ECAM will give the normal oral and visual indications. On the engine warning display, the failure message will be displayed and on the ECP, the two clear keys will be illuminated. By looking at the underlined system title, you can see which system page needs to be viewed. In this example, the fuel page key should be selected and held on the ECP. The system page can be studied to provide more information about the failure and then the key released. The engine warning display returns and the ECAM actions can be carried out. We will do these actions for you. Now the ECAM actions have been completed and only the failure title remains. To confirm what effect the actions have had on the system, we have to reselect the fuel page on the ECP. As before, the fuel page is displayed while the key is depressed. You can see on the system page that the cross feed is connected and the pump has shut down. As soon as the key is released, the engine warning display returns. To continue with the CAM, a clear key should be pressed to remove the failure message on the engine warning display. We will clear the fuel message for you. Normally the status page would be displayed, but with only a single ECAM screen available, the status page must be manually selected. Notice that there is a boxed status symbol on the engine warning display. The status key should be held down and the status page reviewed. The status page can be displayed for up to three minutes before an automatic return to the engine warning display occurs. Once the review is complete, the key is released and the engine warning display returns. The ECAM procedure is now complete. There are no lights on the ECP. During the approach phase, there is no automatic call of the status page when the flaps lever is moved. To remind the pilots to review status, the box status symbol on the engine warning display pulses. 
the status page should be selected as before. We will now briefly look at the use of the emergency cancel push button. It is normally used to cancel an intermittent nuisance message. It may be used, if necessary, to cancel most our warnings. Let's look at an example of an intermittent nuisance message. When an intermittent caution occurs, the normal oral and visual alerts will be triggered. The emergency cancel push button can be used to tell ECAM to suppress the caution. As a result of pressing the emergency cancel push button, a white message appears on the engine warning display advising you that the caution has been cancelled. After a short delay, the cancelled caution message automatically disappears and is transferred to the status page. A status reminder appears on the engine warning display informing you that there is something on the status page. We will call the status page for you. The status page is displayed with a white cancelled caution message. After review, the status page can be cleared. The cruise page returns on the lower cam display. And there is a status reminder on the engine warning display. For the rest of the flight you will not be alerted each time the ECAM system detects a fault with ILS-1. Now let's see how we can recall the cancel caution by pressing the recall key. If you press and hold the recall key for more than 3 seconds, the suppression function is removed. The original caution will reappear if the fault is detected.